What's up, everybody? My name is G.I. Joe, put it together, it's pronounced G. Joe, and, uh, well, ignore what you see on the screen right now. And, uh, probably what you see on the screen is a bunch of gibberish, but that's just my computer being really, un oh, I can't move that, unfair and stupid. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to fix iTunes error code 4002. I almost forgot what it was that I was going to show you. So, note this is only this is only possible for Windows XP I don't know if it's gonna work for any other windows but I do know it's gonna work for Windows XP and uh, I know you guys may not be able to see the exact wording and whatnot it, clearly but with my awesome description and my awesome tone and voice you guys will pre uh, be able to follow along so on the bottom left hand corner there's a start obviously there's a start you go ahead and click that and you kind of scroll it to where it says control no not control panel set program access and default it's on the right it's one two three four five up from down it's right here right where I clicked around that area I'm pretty sure you guys are you know intelligent beings you guys know where, where I'm clicking at anyways I'm also drinking lemonade. So while we wait for that window to pop up, I'm going to drink my lemonade. Okay, now that the window is up, you're going to click on Change or Remove Programs. It's located in uh, the upper left-hand corner of this window that popped up and cover cover the, what's behind. And uh, just simply wait for your list to pop up. It'll this list that's going to generate itself. It's actually going to be the list of all the programs you have on your computer, and uh, you know, depending on how many programs you had, depends how long it's going to take for it to pop up. So I have quite a few programs on my computer, so it might may or may not take a while for it to pop up. So I'm gonna drink some more lemonade. yummy lemonade I don't understand why the weather's so crazy it's so hot and it we're, and we're again getting into fall and it's hot like a summer day it's not it this state is not making sense to me <laughs> ah, come on list pop up poppy uppy poppy uppy papa uppa populate this list faster already I want to move on with this video. This list is not popping up. Pop this list up. You're not popping up. Oh, yay. I was about, you know, yay. <laughs> um, anyways, so you're going to scroll down to iTunes. So, well, you got you can't just scroll down to it. you got to find it. Uh, let me just up oh, there it is. You click on iTunes and to the right of this blue shaded area. I'm pretty sure you guys are able to see where the colors and whatnot. But on um, this blue shaded area, on the right is going to say change or remove. Okay, you're not going to click remove. You're going to click change. This method that I discovered for Windows XP fixed error 4002, and I didn't have to delete anything or remove anything and re or replace anything. I actually just did one or two clicks, as you're seeing now. Well, it's not one or two clicks, really. It's like three or four. But you guys don't care. You guys just want to fix the problem. So, I am here to fix it for Windows XP. I don't know if this will work for any other Windows, but I'm definitely sure that it should work. Should. Emphasis on should. So I don't need to be receiving hate comments on it not working it should work I'm not making any promises I'm just saying it should work uh, so uh, again once you click change this little window should pop up in like a couple seconds I don't know why it's saying oh well I have a lot of programs so it's gonna take a while for it to pop up in the meantime I'm gonna serve some more lemonade <sighs> yummy lemonade as we up oh, there it is I'm not going to go on with the entire process because from this point on, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's going to be a box that says repair or remove. You're going to click on repair. It's right here. And, uh, well, just follow the steps provided. And I'm pretty sure it's not much more than one or, one or two more clicks. 
and iTunes should be repaired. No more error code 4002. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.